Hi friends, in this video I'm going to explain you the steps to become rich. Uh, the, to become rich it's not uh, it's it's a journey actually. So before explaining the the steps, I'm going to give you a, a list of books that you should read which really helped me in my life which changed my thought pattern. Okay, these are the books Rich Dad Poor Dad Robert Kiyosaki, then Millionaire Next, Millionaire Next Door by Thomas 21 Secrets of Self-Made Millionaires by Brain, Brain Tracy Total Money Makeover Dave Romsey Start Over Finish Rich by David Back The Richest Man in Babylon Judges So these are the books that helped me a lot and there are other books that I've read and it was really helpful to understand about how to handle the money and how to grow in our life and to uh, to get good portion in our financial status so how to grow in your financial status so these are the books which is going to help you so go to your nearby bookstore and you can you can buy this and you can whenever you get free time you can start reading this so I'm going to explain you few steps and the learnings that I got from these books so that it will really helpful for your life as well okay so please Remember, becoming rich is not a one-day activity or one-month activity. It's a journey. Okay, you should stick to the plan, and and it in you and you should stick to the decision that you have taken. Okay, so how to become rich? The steps to become rich. I have uh, written a few points here, ten points here, to st as steps to become rich, and these are like essential points that I've captured uh, when I was learning about learning from these books. Okay. So this is the point. Spend less than you earn. I hope you are earning something. You are you are going to a job. So always, the first point is spend less than you earn. This is very very important. Okay. So please stick to this point. First point: spend less than you earn. Then long time perspective. What does it mean? You should always think in terms of after 10 years how I'm going to be after 20 years how I'm going to be how after 40 years how I'm going to be how my life is going to be and you should always think about long time perspective instead of thinking one month or two months or six months and one year it's not going to solve your problem okay then delay gratification so you're earning you're getting money good good that you're getting money so immediately you'll get an uh, desire to buy something so you should delay that gratification do you really need that item for example you are buying you are going to buy a car new car so do you really need that car to achieve your long time perspective or long time goal the fourth point is self discipline you need a discipline because whenever you take a decision it's going to affect your long time goal so you should always have a self discipline okay you should not uh, give away your hard earned money to anyone okay so you should have self discipline on your spending habit so you should change your spend, uh, spending habit you should always think about long time perspective do I really need this money do I really need this uh, item uh, or any material okay fifth point is have long term goal short term goals 5 years goal 10 years goals 20 years goals and 30 years goals and please 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 stick to these goals don't don't make fun of your goals okay so stick to those goals is very very important and whenever you buy something differentiate what is the need what is is it a want or a desire or luxury okay if you have already a uh, uh, two wheeler do we do i need a car okay if you have a car already do you need to buy a, another car with with a new brand and uh, new model do we need really that so what's the need want and desire and luxury so you sh you should be in a position to differentiate it because there is a problem in the consumerism uh, where you might not you will not be in a position to differentiate a desire and a want and need okay so please and start building your assets so you are already spending less than you earning your earning so you'll be getting surplus amount so start saving that money and you can build your assets start building your assets assets means that money the money that put in your pocket never ever don't lose your money please be careful whenever you're investing or whatever you're doing please remember that don't lose your money then never uh, then ninth point is I am responsible for my financial status so please repeating this word always you are responsible don't blame the government don't blame the uh, market don't blame anyone you are responsible for my for my financial status you are you all keep saying this I am responsible for my financial status okay don't blame on anyone 
because successful people take the responsibility for their finance for their financial status so the last and final point is debt free so if you have any uh, loans please close try to close that as soon as possible and start saving for six months emergency fund all your bills for six months you should have uh, enough amount for that okay for any emergency you need uh, you need this money then after after you have the uh, six months emergency fund built already so you can start investing the surplus amount in uh, uh, either in um, stock market or if you are in you're good in online business or any business that you are in, uh, interested you can go ahead and invest it or real estate you can build a, a house of uh, and give it for rent or whatever you want if you are interested in anything you can do it but don't lose money so these are the few points that i le- that i learned from these books okay uh, and I, it changed my life hope it will be changing a lot in coming days so i thought of sharing my learnings to all you people hope this video is useful for your uh, for your future whatever i learned i just want to share with you thank you and all the best i hope your life will be improved thank you